Hello everyone, Pastor Lon here. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I want to share a little bit of devotion with you and in, and challenge you really and encourage you to do something tomorrow being Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving Eve. It's Wednesday afternoon here in South Carolina. And I uh, just wanted to challenge you with something. Um, you know, we all talk about being grateful and thankful this time of the year, which I think we need to be like that uh, all year long, according to the gospel. And whether you're Christian or not, you should be grateful and thankful for the things we've been blessed with and also be thankful and uh, grateful for the things we don't have in this life, like the sicknesses that many people have. So my scripture today is coming out of uh, Colossians chapter 3, verses 23 and 24. It says, And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord you shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Basically, do everything we do for him with everything we got and know that we don't do it for man, don't do it to be seen, and our reward's not coming from man. It's coming from God Almighty, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It also tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18 about being thankful. It says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. It's God's will for us to be thankful of everything that we have in this life today. And I just want to challenge you today to be intentional tomorrow and the rest of this year and into 2022. I want you to be intentional about being thankful. Be intentional about loving your neighbor as yourself. Be intentional about loving your enemies, praying for those who despitefully use you and persecute you and trespass against you. Serve God intentionally. You know, I, I jotted down a few things I wanted to go ahead and get out of the way. Uh, before I share some other things with us, witness intentionally. Do it on purpose. Uh, read and study God's word intentionally, on purpose. Be a friend to somebody. There's a lot of people out there that they don't have friends. There's a lot of uh, widows out there or widowers that need uh, need a friend, need somebody to just to talk to sometime. And uh, I read, I watched um, Miss Josie's uh, her video today, her latest video about giving and about being thankful and uh, receiving and all the different things she talked about on that video. And it's the first year, first Thanksgiving without uh, Brother Howie being in that household. And I can't imagine how they're going to feel. Um, they're going to miss him, no doubt. They missed him ever since last December. And we all have on here. But one thing I, I, I commented back to encourage her, because she's going to be doing the prayer um, over the meal um, this this Thanksgiving that how we always took care of, so she was worried about making sure she used wholesome words and and words um, with authority and purpose and um, just meaningful words. And I told her she won't have a problem with that because every time she speaks to us here on YouTube, um, her words speak volumes to us. So she'll do a great job with that. But keep Miss Josie and um, uh, the Ferguson family, Cedar Creek Homestead, over in your prayers. Uh, this coming Thanksgiving as it'll be their first Thanksgiving without Brother Howie. So I told her also uh, some of the things, uh, one thing I feel like Brother Howie, Howie would say, he may have said it last year, is to love those people intentionally and appreciate the people around you every day that's going to be sitting at that table tomorrow because they may not be with you next year. I may not be here. You may not be here. So we need to enjoy the moment that we have today. We need to praise the Lord and worship him intentionally and on purpose. Because I believe what's happening in America today as generations have rolled on, um, we've, get, we've become more blessed, but it seems like more people are more uh, less thankful for the blessings that they have in their lives today. I can remember my mama telling me, and she grew up, she was born, I think, 1945, 46, and she grew up in a time where if they got a Pepsi-Cola once a week, they were grateful and thankful for that Pepsi-Cola. They were grateful for the, the something, a little special treat that they had. Now, we see children and adults, too, leave it wasted on the table, leave it wasted in a cup somewhere. They're not thankful for it because it's so um, readily available for us. But I believe that if we've, we've gotten so blessed in America today that we seem to be less thankful. And you don't need to just be blessed, uh, be thankful on Thanksgiving or during the month of November when it seems like so many people are, but we need to be thankful all year long because we're blessed beyond measure all year long. And, um, you know, the Bible teaches us, as I read in your hearing, to be thankful, give thanks for everything because this is God's will. 
And I just want to challenge you today. Just want to jump on here the day before Thanksgiving. I hope all of you have a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. But I want you to be intentional about loving those people beside you. Be intentional. Don't, don't make it just about the meal. Make it about loving one another, uh, building friendships, encouraging one another, laugh together, um, have have good time of fellowship together. Don't just eat and run. I want to share this with you in closing. Back, well, really, um, before I got married and, and even a little bit after that, um, a lot after that, really, we would um, come out of the woods long enough to have Thanksgiving meal and maybe a little bit of time of fellowship. But we're ready to get back in the woods hunting. And if I could do that over again, I would change a few things with that because there's people in my life today that are not here today that was here then that I wish I'd have spent a lot more time with. My mama being one of them, my grandparents being others, and many other aunts and uncles and, and cousins that's not here with us today, but I wish they were. And I wish I'd have spent more time with them back then. And I, I try to spend as much time as I can now with my family. I mean, I, I still deer hunt. I still got hobbies I like to do. But those hobbies don't come before my family. Uh, God's number one in my life. My family is a close second. And everything else just falls in line after that. And that's the way it should be with all of us. But like I said, we're all blessed beyond measure. I want you to be intentional. Um, tomorrow when you um, ask the blessing, saying the blessing, grace over your meal, I want you to be intentional, uh, of being thankful and being grateful and share with one another. If you got anything you want to tell somebody today, is the day or tomorrow at Thanksgiving or any day, the present time. You need to tell those people how much you really appreciate them. Don't take for granted that they already know. Even though they may know, it means something to hear somebody say, I love you. It means something to, to somebody when you give them a compliment, whether it be on their clothes, whether it be on their hair, or whether it be on something they accomplished in life. You need to give those people something um, to hold on to. Because we all, we all, we're not doing what we do for a pat on the back, but anybody with any breath in you at all knows that it makes you feel good when somebody encourages you or, or thanks you or, 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 or rewards you, even if it's verbally of something you've done a good job. So instill, sow good seed into your children, uh, build relationships tomorrow and the rest of this year during this time of Thanksgiving with husband and wife. And most of all, like I said, just let them know you love them. Thank God for the meal you're going to receive, all that turkey and dressing and macaroni and treat cheese and broccoli casserole and cranberry sauce, which I love dearly, um, and many desserts. And, I mean, just so many other things that I can't think of that right now. Deer meat, green beans, uh, all the stuff you'll be eating tomorrow. Um, just be thankful and realize all that come from God Almighty. Without his blessing, you wouldn't have it. So remember those people less fortunate than you and I. If you have some leftovers tomorrow, or even if you don't, fix a plate. Take it to somebody that you know that may not be able to get out and get a meal like we're going to receive tomorrow. Because that's what Thanksgiving is about, being thankful to God for his blessings. But also the more blessed we are, the more we should want to go out and help those people in need. Matter of fact, the Bible tells us in Acts, the latter part of that verse, I had it jotted down, but I don't have it in front of me right now. Oh, yes, I do. Acts 20 and 35, the latter part, the last part of that verse says, it is more blessed to give than it is to receive. And we need to give expecting nothing in return, y'all. Just give because you got it on your heart to give. God's blessed you, so you need to send it on down the line. Pay it forward. That's what Thanksgiving is all about to me. Loving God first, loving my family, and blessing and sharing with other people what God has blessed me with. Because every one of us on here, if you're watching this, you're blessed beyond measure. We're all blessed more than we deserve to be blessed. I can assure you of that. So, hope you have a great, happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. May God richly bless you the rest of this year. And until next time, remember, Jesus Christ loves you. This pastor loves you. And Jesus Christ is the answer for any and everything we dealing with in life. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of this day. And a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.